What up, guys? This is Chivo Guys. Back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Concept Destruction. This game was published by Rattalaga Games, and it was developed by Thin Ice. This game is going to be an easy completion or platinum trophy, coming in at about 45 minutes to an hour. And as usual, if you're playing on PlayStation, there's going to be multiple stacks on the platinum trophy because of the different regions and the PS Vita version. Overall, this is actually a really awesome game, especially for a Rattalaka game. They definitely mixed it up with this one. Basically, this is a destruction derby style game with like a cardboard style of art. It's actually pretty cool. We're going to have a lot of miscellaneous achievements. I'm going to be walking you through all of them. For the most part, we need to complete championship mode, and then we need to complete all of the school levels, which is basically the tutorial, and then there are some achievements related to the other three modes. So let's go ahead and start off with the school mode. We do have to complete all three lessons. Now, I do want to show you guys a miscellaneous achievement here on the school. You do get an achievement if you uh, drive up this ruler right here. So just make sure that you don't forget to drive up the ruler. It's kind of hard to drive up, but just give yourself some time and eventually you'll get it. And once you drive over the ruler and hop out of the school area, you're going to unlock yourself your first achievement or trophy. This is going to be the Rebel achievement for 90 gamer score for getting out of the driving area in the school. After you get that achievement, we're going to go ahead and restart the lesson because there's no way to get back in that area. So just press start and restart it and we're going to go ahead and complete that first lesson. To complete this first lesson, we simply need to drive around this little roundabout here and then go through the finish line. The next lesson is going to be for crashing into a car. Now it's basically telling you that there are more vulnerable parts of cars. It's typically right in the middle, so if you T-bone the car, you're going to sometimes get like a one hit kill. It's showing you right here, uh, represented by the darker colored door. You want to hit it right in the middle and you'll be able to one hit kill it and take its battery. That's actually going to pop an achievement called the killer for 90 gamer score for destroying a rival car. So far so good. We got two achievements for an easy 180 gamer score. Next we're going to go back to the school and we're going to play lesson three. This is called no control. And all we have to do here is simply flip over the car manually. Eventually when you play the game, you can turn on auto flip. However, we are going to have to do it manually just this one time for the third school lesson. All you have to do is hold the left stick either left or right, and then it'll start to flip over. After that, you wanna make sure to uh, drive through the finish line, and that's going to complete the third lesson, and it's going to pop our third achievement called the learner for 30 gamer score for passing all school lessons. After that, we're going to start up a single event. There's actually three different game modes and there's a few achievements related to them. So uh, first things first, we're gonna start off tourism. There's an achievement to get up to five minutes in a tourism mode. And basically tourism mode is just, you know, like a free roam mode and we just need to survive five minutes. So. Just drive around for five minutes and eventually you will get your achievement or trophy uh, for lasting five minutes in tourism mode. While you're at it, you can actually drive up to the top right here. And if you drive across over to the other rooftop on the other building, you're actually going to unlock an achievement uh, related to the plaza level. The plaza level is the only level that you'll have unlocked when you start the game. It's the first level, so might as well knock this one out being that we have to play this mode for five minutes. So just drive to the top, you're going to jump to the other rooftop and we're going to unlock an achievement called Rooftop for 90 gamer score for driving on the roof in the plaza. After you get both of those achievements in the tourism mode, next thing you wanna do is go to options, gameplay, and we're going to adjust some gameplay settings. So first things first, we're gonna put the consumption to times one, or actually you can turn it to times zero. So this is how much battery you use when you're driving. Next, you wanna turn the player resistance to 10 and the rivals to five. After that, we can go down to the event duration. I just keep it at three minutes. The idle disqualify, you wanna put that above three minutes and the no hit disqualify above three minutes as well. After that, we can go ahead and press done. And then we're gonna go back to single event. And this time we're going to start up a survival. Now, this is going to be much easier because we adjusted the settings. There is an achievement related to surviving three minutes in survival. 
The thing is, is if we wouldn't have put up the resistance on the CPUs up to five times, then they wouldn't have lasted the whole three minutes. So being that we made them basically have more life, we're gonna be able to extend the lifetime of the match. Also, you can park in between these tents right here to hide. Sometimes they'll be able to drive you out, but um, it keeps you safe for most of the three minutes. After that, eventually you're going to hit the three minute time and you're gonna get the achievement called Survivor for 90 gamer score or surviving three minutes in survivor mode. After you get that, we're going to go back to the main menu and let's just go to options real quick. And now that we got that survivor achievement, we're going to go to the resistance on the CPU or on our rivals and we're gonna put that down to zero. We can also go down to the event duration and we're gonna put that to one minute. This is going to make the championship go by a lot faster just because each event's only one minute. So once you got those gameplay uh, settings adjusted, we can go ahead and start up championship. During championship, you should be unlocking a few other achievements like destroying three rival cars in a single event. Your uh, life is going to be much larger than theirs, so they're gonna be easier to kill because the resistance is only times one and yours is times 10. So this should be pretty easy to beat all of the CPUs. The points are set up tournament style, so you get a certain amount of points each match depending on where you rank, and all of those points will add up for the championship leaderboard. So ultimately, we wanna get first place in the championship, so you can afford not to get first place in some of the events, but you wanna make sure that you get at least first or second in most of them. Now, eventually, you're gonna knock out five batteries from other cars. You'll automatically pick them up once you knock their batteries out. You should get this naturally, but once you pick up five batteries, you're going to get the collector achievement for 40 gamer score. Our next level is going to be called the Bulls, and we do have a missable um, or miscellaneous achievement on this event. So once the event starts, you just want to turn around and you're going to be able to drive through like a little cardboard flap. And once you drive through, we're going to unlock our next achievement for escaping the main area in the Bulls. That's going to be the escapist achievement for 90 gamer score. So moving on to the next level. The next level is going to be called the rooftops level. There is an achievement related to this level specifically. However, we're actually going to go for another one as well. So we're going to be getting two achievements or trophies on this level. I recommend driving up to the sledge and then driving off. This is going to unlock our achievement for staying in the air for over three seconds. That's going to be worth 30 gamer score and that is the pilot achievement. After that, we can go ahead and drive around and there's going to be a lamp on the other side next to like some art supplies. You just need to drive next to them, drive over the painting and we're going to unlock another achievement called the artist for 15 gamer score. We're getting to the paint zone in the rooftop level. After that, you can go ahead and just complete that level. We're going to move on in the championship tournament. The next level we wanna keep an eye out for is going to be the stadium level. Once you get to the stadium level, we do have two achievements or trophies related to this level specifically. First things first, you wanna press A to boost into the can of soda. That's going to knock the football off the top of it. There is an achievement worth 30 gamer score called the player related to hitting that football here in the stadium. After that, we want to drive behind the field goal post and we're going to boost up the ramp and fly through the field goal post for our second achievement here on the stadium level. This one's worth another 90 gamer score called the score for driving through the goal post in the stadium level. At this point, guys, all you need to do is just make sure that you're staying on top of the leaderboard. Eventually, you're going to complete, I think it's like eight events or so, and if all goes well, you'll end up getting first place and you'll get your achievement for 30 gamer score for winning the championship. At this point, guys, we're almost finished. We just have one last achievement or trophy. What we need to do is start up a single event and we need to destroy the Tifa X2 vehicle using the Zip JX vehicle. So this is what the Zip JX vehicle looks like. If you followed along with the guide and you got first place in the championship mode, you should have unlocked this car by now. So we're gonna go ahead and select this one. And the smaller car that we need to defeat is the Tifa X2. This is the smallest vehicle in the game. They're pretty easy to spot. It looks like one person would be able to fit in it at most. And after you get that last achievement, you should have your full completion or platinum trophy. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. Don't forget, to like and subscribe.